Well, dozens of Arizona police officers are taking part in a bike ride up the East Coast. Local departments include Phoenix, Scottsdale, Mesa, and Peoria. They're all taking part in the police unity tour in Virginia this morning. Yeah, in fact, the group left from Portsmouth, Virginia yesterday. They rode more than 111 miles on their route to Washington, D.C. And this morning, Steve Berry from the Mesa Police Department joining us on the phone. Steve, good morning to you. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good. Uh, better question is, how's it going out there? You guys just, just getting ready to start, right? We're getting ready to start for the day. It's going to be interesting because I'm looking out my window now and there's water rolling down the parking lot because it's raining heavily. Oh, I hope you brought <laughs> uh, your jacket there, sir. What does it mean to take part in this ride? <clears throat> well, it, the Police Unity Tour raises money for the Police Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C., and that's the wall where the names... Uh, fallen officers are inscribed, much like the uh, Vietnam Wall, if you will. If most people are familiar with that. So it's a great honor to get to ride for those officers who've given their lives. And um, everybody who participates in this ride has to raise a minimum of uh, $2,000 in, in donations just to participate. Steve, talk to us about what it's like, the camaraderie being around other police officers, not only from Arizona, but from around the country. But also, it's got to be emotional knowing what you guys are out there for. It is very emotional. Um, besides the fact that you meet some of your colleagues that you would never meet otherwise, amongst the group as well are survivors, uh, people who've had a family member, uh, perhaps husband, wife, brother, sister, killed in the line of duty. So uh, we're riding right alongside of them and uh, carrying that torch, if you will, for their family and their family member all the way to D.C. Does this just uh, show how the police as a whole across the country is one big family, one big brotherhood and sisterhood? I, I think so. Um, obviously, things differ from region to region, but uh, in the whole scope of things, we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to keep the public safe. We're all trying to make it a great place for all of us to live, and we just do it a little bit differently depending upon where we are. And in this case, you know, Arizona is very, very well represented out here. Uh, we've got members from the Flagstaff Police Department, Coconino County Sheriff's Department, Pima County Sheriff's Department, Glendale Police Department, Peoria Police Department, of course, Mesa, um, Phoenix Police Department. Uh, we've, got, we've got everybody pretty well represented out here. You know, Steve, uh, I've been to that wall, the uh, Police Officers Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. And, you know, when you go to any of these memorials, you see veterans who show up uh, who have been veterans of, of certain wars and, and, and the like. Knowing that you're a police officer, knowing that um, those that you stand shoulder to shoulder with have paid the ultimate price, it's got to be such a solemn feeling to be there at the memorial, especially uh, knowing that that's going to be uh, the, the end of your journey, so to speak, for this bike ride. And, and that's that's correct. You know, we've got two more days of riding. Gosh, it's raining hard outside. Um, <laughs> we've, got, we've got today and tomorrow to get there. And then the following night on Friday night is the candlelight vigil. And that is the time every year where the new officers are. Uh, their names are read that are added to the wall for the year. And that's the only time that an officer's name is ever read is that initial year. Um, they have all the families there, of course, of those uh, fallen officers. And it's a, it's a pretty emotional ceremony, as you can imagine. Well, we thank you very much for representing Arizona proudly. And uh, we wish you good luck on this ride. And stay warm out there, my friend. Because <laughs> it doesn't you know, sound like you're going to be dry. <laughs> No, it was much nicer when I was at the studio last week because this is not <laughs> nice. All right, be careful. Take Thanks, care. Steve. Really appreciate it. Well, time.